So let's talk about ribs and what we need to do with these things. Uh, whenever you're going to cook any ribs, we gotta take off this bottom membrane. There's a really easy way to do that. So we'll take a quick look here. What you wanna do is kinda get in with a knife into one of the bone areas, right? Sometimes I like to start here because you get a little bit bigger of a bone. Now look at this. I'm just gonna go in there. I'm gonna start peeling it. Peeling it and peeling it and peeling it. And now we're gonna try to give us a nice little flap to hold on to. So now that we have that, what we wanna do, because it's really slippery stuff, we'll grab onto that flap with a paper towel and just yank it clean off of there. Perfect. When you can get it in one shot like that, that is awesome. Let me go ahead and throw that away. So that's uh, that's good. We got the membrane off, and that is a good looking rib. I mean, just look at that. I mean, these things look tasty to me. Go ahead and look at the other side there. Oh man, these are gonna be good on the big green egg today. So stick around, we're gonna get these rubbed up. We're gonna throw it on the egg. All right, so I think it's time to go ahead and rub these ribs down. Uh, but before we do that, let's uh, have us some Freedom Coffee from Captain America. Also got here some Black Rifle Company. Blackbeard's Delight Coffee. If you've never had that, give it a shot. It is delicious. Mmm. That's so good. Okay, so what we want to do, get some mustard on here, and then we're going to also use the Buckshot Rib Rub. Okay, you guys know I love that stuff. So let's go ahead and we'll just go ahead and get a little squirt of that on. Go ahead and start rubbing that in. This just kind of makes it adhere better. And then we're going to start with the buckshot rub. Just kind of all the way across. I think the dog sees a squirrel out there. There's Sammy making her video debut today. And just look at that. Look at that color that it gives it. Just beautiful. Oh man. We're gonna let that sit for a couple minutes. Really let that rub it here. Flip it over, we'll rub the other side. Smoker's almost ready to temp. I'll take you guys out there with me. All right, so what we're gonna do real quick, we're gonna go out and check the egg, see how we're doing out there. So, come on, Sammy. Let's go check it out and see how we're doing. We're coming up the temperature. Almost there, not quite. Ah, oh, but there's a nice, beautiful smoke coming out of there. And I wish you guys could smell this. It smells so good. I'm excited to do these ribs today. I'm hungry. So we're going to go ahead and wait till this thing gets up to about 250. So it looks like we got some ribs ready to go. We're going to go ahead and start working on getting these things on the smoker. I'm excited. Oh my God, I can't wait for this. All right, so we're pretty much where we need to be. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to throw this thing on. <laughs> so smoky. And cool thing, the big green egg fits like one rack perfectly like that. So we're going to go ahead and put it in there. And we will see that thing again in about five hours. Okay, so we're like two hours in on this. So what we want to do is we want to pull these things off. We're going to wrap them up with some stuff. Come on in and take a look at this. They're already looking pretty nice if you ask me. So, get some tongs. I'm gonna bring it right over here. This is a heavy duty foil, okay? And I got double wrapped. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to kind of doctor it up a little bit. So I'm gonna take some uh, brown sugar. I'm just gonna start getting some of this in here, getting it on there some sticky stuff you don't really need to worry about it a whole bunch because it's going to melt down a little bit you can see it's actually starting to melt right onto the ribs already I don't know if they're kind of hot so just kind of get some on top here if you can all right crushed red pepper get some of that in there can't forget the honey that actually might make things stick a little bit better so we're going to take this we're just going to drizzle honey over top look at that 
this on there. I like mine with a lot of red pepper. I mean, make yours how you like it, how you want. I usually use uh, parquet squeeze butter, so today we're going to try something different. I'm actually just going to throw some, some of this. I got this at like the local farmer's market. It's like French country or like, like fresh like country butter. So I'm going to set that in there. And a little bit of Breckenridge agave wheat. You can use whatever beer you want. This is the one I happen to have on hand. Got to taste it and make sure it's good. I'd say it is. So we're not going to put a whole lot in there. Just enough to kind of create a little steam. It's going to break it down a little bit. And now the trick is we've got to cover these bad boys up pretty well without missing or dripping any of the good stuff. So there we go. Kind of make it as tight as you can. Watch the bones so that you don't puncture through and lose all that good stuff you just did. And now we're going to grab it. And right back on there for another two hours. Then we're going to take it out of that and we'll put it on for another hour to firm that bark up. And it's going to be out of this world. So the one thing about these ribs is they take like a really long time to cook. So I wanted to like be a little bit productive today. So I kind of like went downstairs and got on the treadmill. But, you know, I'm going to be really productive while these ribs are cooking. It's going to take a really long time. So, you know, let's let's get into something productive. Ah, I think I missed. We have technical advantage. Keep firing. Oh yeah. Behind me. We just be killing fools. Oh. Such is war. Okay, so it's been two hours since we wrapped these ribs. So now we want to unwrap them, get them on there. That way the uh, the bark can firm back up. So there's like a couple ways you can do this. You can just kind of open them up. Take a look in there. Wow, this looks good. Okay, let's see if I can get these all off in one piece. Watch that smoke in your eyes. And then look at all that. Just, oh man, get a close up on there, okay? These things are already pretty tender, so I'm gonna try to not break this when I get it back on. Make no guarantees. But then we're gonna take it, and we're gonna throw it on there like so. We're gonna do it for one more hour. That's gonna firm it all up. Oh man, but these are, these are looking good. Oh man, can't wait. Just a little bit longer. Uh, you can use this juice for something else if you wanna make like pork gravy or something you know cook that in put some flour in it'd be good but I'm just gonna toss it today in a very messy fashion we'll see you guys in one hour when it's time to eat these things okay so we have our finished product right here it's all done all our time all that labor now it's the payoff what do we got right here we have some boomstick barbecue ribs right there done with the 221 method look at the bark on that that looks beautiful, let me tell you. But how does it taste? That's the most important part. So let's get up in here. Oh, well, I can already tell you right now, I'm pretty excited about how it tastes. You can see it's starting to come off from the bones there. Oh, wow. Let's take a look at this color. What do we got here? Oh, that looks good. All right, let's see if we get a nice little bite mark in there. Oh, well, I messed that one up. Oh, but the flavor on these things, gorgeous. Mm. So what we're gonna do, I got these little barbecue baskets. I'm gonna put them in there, make it feel like you're at a barbecue place. Now these are unsauced. You can put some sauce on them if you want. You can get some dipping sauce. I don't like sauced ribs because these things are just too good to put anything like that on. They're perfect the way they are. Thanks for tuning in to Boomstick Barbecue. Please subscribe to this video. Please like it. Please try this recipe. I think you'll like it. Thanks for tuning in.